Nagiro Gucci. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. And today we're going to be getting into another interesting video topic. Now, welcome back to my show. I know y'all haven't seen my face in a minute. I'm just taking a little break. Um, but let's finally get back into thick things, get back into uploading. And this Cleveland Browns team goes out and completely shocks the world. Uh, now, I'm not going to lie. I did not expect us to win this game, man. I forgot to upload my post game, my pre game video, unfortunately. Um, I did upload my predictions and I did pick the Jets to lose. I mean, the Jets to beat the Eagles. And I got called crazy for it. Got to pull them receipts up. Anyways, though, you know what I'm saying? How about that Cleveland Browns defense? Now I went to the game. I done been to every home game this year. Um, and by far, this was the best game I went to. This was a better game than than the Bengals game. Um, well, the Tennessee Titans game was obviously extremely fun, but like as far as like good football, back and forth football, this was just a great game to be at, man. Um, P.J. Walker and um, you know versus Brock Purdy, surprisingly enough, was a very interesting game. Uh, now, somebody tell me how the San Francisco 49ers lost to an XFL quarterback. A backup right tackle, a backup left uh, left guard, a backup running back, and a third string QB. Somebody tell me that this 49ers team has been putting up 30 points for over a year, and they run into that Cleveland Browns defense and can't even put up 20? Somebody, somebody tell me that Deshaun Watson and Nick Chubb ain't playing the game and the Cleveland Browns beat a healthy 49ers team. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to hear a lot of excuses. At the end of the day, they started this game with Debo Samuel, CMC, um, and, and then they were there, you know? Now, of course, guys got injured throughout the game. CMC played all three quarters, and he wasn't making a difference. Um, Debo Samuel wasn't going to make a difference. Um, I think the guy that was going, the only guy that had a chance to make a difference in this game was Brandon Ayuk, uh, and I originally thought that. Uh, George Kittle put an APPV off on him. He was locked down. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Debo Samuel would have got put in that seatbelt too. Uh, and it's just an overall great, great, great game. Now let's get into a couple things. I want you guys to give Kevin Stefanski his flowers. He was on the hot seat a little bit with me. Um, I was a little ticked off by how he kind of threw Watson under the bus by saying he was medically cleared. Um, but, you know, this is probably going to keep Kevin his job for the rest of the year, this win. Um, this this single win is probably going to keep him his job for the rest of the year. Um, really, really great, great stuff from Kevin. That call uh, to give it to Kareem and Harrison Bryan to pitch it to him and get him a touchdown. Um, playing the game the way he played the game, just trying to get points on the board. And, you know, th this is probably the second best defense in the league. This is probably the best defense they've played all year. And for them to go out there and put up 19 points on on a, a top five NFL defense is complete. Look, look what this defense just did to Dak Prescott. And you give Kevin an XFL quarterback and P.J. Walker, a third-string quarterback and P.J. Walker, and he goes out there and he puts up 19 points and he beats them. He beats them. Um, you got to give Kevin his flowers, man. Um, a great, great game from my boy Michael Dunn. Michael Dunn stepped in for Joel Bantonio. Um, his offensive line has been completely underperforming up until today. And with them going out there and they play for him well, I think they gave up two sacks. Um, the Browns got three sacks and the Niners gave up two sacks. So, um, you know, the Browns with an offensive line that's not healthy at all, only giving up two sacks against a, a top five defense, a top three defensive line. That's pretty extremely impressive. The running game finally got going. Jerome Ford started off a little slow, but him and Kareem Hunt were good today. You know, they were productive enough to, to win this football game. And I want everybody to know that Amari Cooper is a bad motherfucking man. Excuse my language. Amari Cooper is a bad boy. That's a grown 
A word adult wide receiver. Amari Cooper is the best offensive weapon the Browns have by a significant margin. Um, and today he proved that. And today he showed that they has over under at 39 yards. They don't just disrespect Coop like that. 39 yards for Amari Cooper. Barbecue chicken, man. Barbecue chicken. I don't know if it was Ward or uh, who was out there. Number seven, number two. Didn't matter. They were cooked. Cooked. You know, uh, Amari Cooper showed that he's the number one receiver. He showed that T. Higgins is not in his league. Um, you know, all you guys that said T. Higgins was better than him. Remember that, too. Um, and, yeah, he, he shows he's one of those guys. Um, Jim Swartz continuously abuses and spanks his son, Kyle Shanahan. I think he is 9-1 now or 8-1 or against Kyle Shanahan, which is just ridiculous. Uh, Brock Purdy looked like the last pick in the draft. Not a good game from him at all. Um, and that Cleveland Browns defense looked pretty good. And a lot of people are going to complain about, you know, them not having CMC at the end of the game or Debo. But, hey, I got people saying Brock Purdy should win the MVP. The Browns single-handedly ended the Brock Purdy MVP conversation. Brock Purdy MVP conversation. Single-handedly. Single-handedly. Just took that whole MVP bullshit and threw it out the window. Uh, out the window. My bad. My boy's going in now. But what a great game. Um, I felt like, uh, you know, the defense really performed. Mar Emerson got his, well, that's not his first interception, but he got an interception. Defense finally gave up points. And what I will come away and I will take away from this is P.J. Walker did not play good um, by any stretch of the imagination, but they did enough to get up 19 points, and that's all that mattered, you know. Um, you, you, you put up 19 points, and if you don't throw that pick, when you throw that pick, um, they probably on the, the Niners probably only put up about 13 points, you know. So that alone, right in there, uh, shows you how dominant this defense is. Miles Garrett didn't even have a sack, so imagine holding the best top rated. I'm not gonna say the best, but the a top three offense that averages 30 points a game. Holding them to 17 points, and your best player doesn't even get a sack. Your best player is not even having a good game. Dalvin Thomason, dominated. Dominated. JOK, dominated. All y'all in the offseason was talking about our linebacker court. I told you guys JOK can be a potential pro bowler. That was one of my picks. I said Grant Delpit, JOK, potential pro bowlers. Will knows boy, man. Will knows boy. Uh, so I want to, I want to give JOK his flowers. Had a sack. He was just dominant, nasty stuff. Just shutting down CMC. Like, whoa, who's this guy? You know, this is look like who they traded up to get in the draft right there. Shutting down CMC in a run. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, JOK is playing out his mind. Um, yeah, you just got a good win with PJ Walker not even playing good. You know, he had. Almost three interceptions. I don't know what he was doing throwing that pass at the end of the game. I lost my mind over that one. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? That And Kevin Svensky even came out and said he wasn't supposed to throw that ball. So that was just something in this. But, you know, not going to be too negative. If you're a Browns fan and you are, like, negative after this game, if the Browns stop turning the ball over, if they just if they have a zero turnover game, I promise you they probably win by two touchdowns. Not this game, but just the game in general. And they play a regular team with Deshaun Watson, and they stop turning the damn ball over. It'll be a very, very, very good football team. Very good football team. When Deshaun Watson comes back, he may come back next week, or he can't come back against Seattle. But this could be a very, very good football team. If you could go up and win these next two games. Then I'm pretty sure you play Pittsburgh at home. Watch out. Watch out. See what this Cleveland Browns team can really make a run right here. Their toughest games, is going to, upcoming games, are going to be divisional. You got the Seahawks that just got beat by the Bengals. And then you got, you know, Pittsburgh at home. You should take care of that. And you got to go get one in Baltimore. You know, you got Arizona. You got the Colts. Those are winnable games. So we shall see. Let me know, know how you guys felt about this. 
Um, I really enjoyed the play calling here. Um, and Kevin is not a bad pay, a play caller as far as like people not being open. It's just the players he chooses to trust. Um, as you guys see, Elijah Moore is somebody that's still going to get end rounds. Now, I wonder if it's an Elijah Moore thing or if this, um, you know, more of a play calling scheme, schematically type of way uh, where they're not getting him open. Um, but Marquis Goodwin, as soon as he caught an end around, he took it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not necessarily on Kevin. Maybe it's more of a Elijah Moore just not being good at end rounds. You know, he had like five catches for like 19 yards. He's looking like just a guy. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go too far now. We're going to see what happens when Watson comes back and, you know, everybody able to get his targets. But Elijah Moore, Donovan Peoples-Jones, they look like Jags. They look like just a guy right now. So we're going to see if anybody steps up. But, I mean, if Amari Cooper's playing the way he's playing football, um, he's going to have a really, really big freaking year. Um, and that's going to that's gonna matter. Shout out to David Bill. Had a critical fourth down catch. Uh, David Bill in multiple situations has been – Right there, fourth and four, you need to get it, and he's done called it down. I think he called one from Jacoby Brissett in that Tampa Bay game um, to go for and convert on downs instead of, you know, failing on fourth and four. Uh, you know, so shout-out to David Bell for that, and shout-out to P.J. Walker for doing just enough. Um, now he almost cost us his damn game throwing that ball. But other than that, you know, he's an XFL quarterback. You know, he's not supposed to be a starter. He's not supposed to win you the game, and the team did just enough. Now, I would like our defense not to give up uh, that drive that they gave up. Uh, Martin Emerson got a P.I. call that he didn't have to get. You know, they were still behind on the sticks, so he didn't have to give up that. Um, so, you know, you want to see better you know, better coverage in that scenario. You know, it's third and 10. You know, he, he's throwing a, you know, a six-yard pass. He got to make at least or get like at least four extra yards on top of catching the football. So you don't want to see him hold in that scenario about that. But other than that, um, that's really my only critique of the defense. Um, other than, and then the first draw for the Cam Nine, they got, they, got, they got the first or the other touchdown. Uh, you know, it was a lot of penalties on that. You got to play clean football. A lot of people was like, oh, you know, when that, when that uh, pregame scuffle happened, a lot of people were, hey, don't poke the bear, and why would you do this? Why would you wake the 49ers up, and blah, 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 blah. Like, and I was I was screaming it all, screaming it, screaming it all day long. Like, this is a California, bro. Like, this is Cleveland. Like, this is Cleveland. Like, don't come over here clapping and boasting and Debo pushing people. Like, we just, like, bro, this is Cleveland, bro. Like, this is not California. Like, it is not like that over here, man. We do, they real dogs out there. Like, these are real dogs. Like, uh, and thinking that, uh, yeah, it's only going to get the Niners started. And now here comes this big, you know, butt whooping because the Browns dared to to stand up against the Niners. Like, bro, get, get out of here, bro, with that with that weak stuff, man. You know, and, and our team showed up and showed to perform. And the defense came out fired up and they were ready to play. When the defense played like that, y'all. Like, we didn't even have the best day from Grand, from Grand Delpit. When the defense is playing like that, your best two players and Miles Garrett and Grant Delpit not having their best of days and they still hold the 49ers under 20 points. You know, that's that's very, very impressive. And Jim Swartz is probably going to get a head coaching job somewhere. So, you know, hopefully we get him for more than a year. But, like, the chances of that, the way he's heck, he's coaching right now from a D.C. coordinator position, it's just remarkable. Um, we waiting on four, man. If Deshaun Watson can get back healthy, continue to play the way he was playing at Tennessee, and the Browns can stop turning the ball over on offense, this is a Super Bowl contender. They put the league on notice. Um, and this is going to be the most toughest offense they have to play for the rest of the year. You know? Now, you got other offenses like, you know, Seattle or Cincinnati. Um, that's about it, you know? I mean, you play the Jets. It's going to be a tough game. You know, you play Steelers, Lamar. You know, but that's about it. You know, it's, it's not any other offense that's comparable to this 49ers. The, the Browns don't went through the gauntlet. We all talked about the gauntlet. They came out of this gauntlet three and two. Um, you know, we all talked about these first five games. Coming out of there three and two is exactly what everybody wanted to see. Um, and that sets this team up to go out there. And we should be able to win 11 games. Um, 
This AFC North is really, really talented this year. I will say that, though. Uh, and then going into it, you also got to look and think about it. Now, they done shut down Derrick Henry. They, shit, I could say they shut down CMC. They held CMC to 3.9 to carry. You know, they held Derrick Henry. What Did he even get 40 yards? They had Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, uh, you know, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, that whole little trio, everybody, they shut them down too. They done played to Joe Burrow. Now, the only team they struggled against was Lamar Jackson, but you know we gave them two, two two red zone drives off rip just with turnovers from offense. So fourteen points off turnovers. What they got seven points this week off turnovers. You know twenty one points off turnovers in the last you know few couple of games. So I'm not gonna really hold the defense too much. You know to say it like, oh, yeah, they got blew out by Baltimore. Yeah, but they got 14 points off turnovers. It's not like Baltimore went down there and got four consistent drives. You know, the defense would probably that had four bad drives all year. All year. You had that Pickens drive where George Pickens got off of them. You got them two bad drives against Baltimore, and you had a bad drive uh, against the Niners. The defense, yeah, defense has had four bad drives all year. Um, which is extremely impressive when you go back and you look at the start of the season of the teams that we knew where we were going to have to face and who are we going to have to deal with. Only having four bad defensive drives all year long is insane. Now you go up and play the Colts, um, a Colts a team that you should shut down, but they're going to fight. Um, and we're going to get into that Colts coverage. Um, and yeah, it's good to see Jerome Ford really come alive this game. He was playing pretty bad, you know, start the game off and then he came alive when it mattered the most. But this is going to be my thoughts on this video, man. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it. It's your boy, Will. I'm out. Peace.